Hello friends. So the question is the displacement of a moving object in a given interval of time is zero. So what's given? The displacement of a moving object in a given interval of time is zero. Right? So would the distance traveled by the object also be zero? This is the question, and you'll have to justify your answer. Now, what is displacement and distance? We need to first understand. So displacement, as we know, displacement is nothing but shortest, shortest distance, shortest distance between between any two points on the path of the moving object object so let's say this was point a and this is point b so if you draw the shortest distance the line between a and b this is the shortest dis this distance is called displacement right and it's a unit is meter you all know now distance could be anything anything in terms of let's say the actual path length is called distance so this is distance so let's say the, the body moved like that so this is this is length is distance okay now distance could be multiple right so between these two two points there could be infinite number of paths so there could be right so but in any in all the cases the shortest distance is always a b the line joining between line segment a b okay so the question is the displacement of a moving object in given interval of time is zero so when can uh, the displacement be zero that means point a and b should coincide con so should coincide that means if if you start moving this point b towards a right so all all these distances will also change so let's say this was point a and here was point b as well so a and b are on the same point but but it can the distance need not be zero why because let's say if the body started and and moved along this path and then finally went on to the same point or the starting point and the final destination are same then the displacement is zero why because the shortest distance distance between the two coinciding point is always zero but we see that there could be infinite distances possible so there could be multiple choices of the path it actually takes to come back to the same point so we can say that in this case in this case though though the displacement is zero but distance is not zero so displacement is equal to zero but distance is not equal to zero okay or another example could be when you throw a ball up in the sky towards the sky so let's say you have you have thrown the ball up the ball goes up and stops momentarily at the highest point and then starts falling down and comes back to the original position so in this case in this case ball going up and coming down so displacement is zero distance is not equal to zero so you could give this example to justify your answer.